Hello, Kit Heads. We are talking Kit, the home of the greatest football kit content in the whole entire world. It is Wednesday, so it means one thing, one thing only. We are deep diving back into the rank bank and pulling out 10 shirts for us to muse over, talk about, argue potentially, and everything in between. So I am Double A, as always. Everyone's pointing at their own names now, which is fun because if you won't know because of the edit. They weren't there before, but I'll leave this bit in for a bit of fun. We don't do special introductions anymore because I feel everyone's been on before, so they don't really... Well, until someone that we don't know comes on, I might be a little bit more generous and give them a special special introduction. But as always, the guy over there, I've got it right, buzzing, is Kit King Dom. <laughs> He's there. How you doing, pal? I'm all, all right. good, yeah. Not too bad yeah. at all, fine. Recovered, recovered from your Nando's. And stuff. Uh, yes. Uh, well, I was in there with this uh, famous guy, and it's annoying going out for food with him because everyone comes over to the table like, "Hey, are you? Uh, are you that guy off YouTube?" I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Well, then, <laughs> don't remember that one at all. Hey, Jay, you can say nothing. You're the one going. Way. I was. I was trying to be humble, and you know, that, not please, mate. I'm just trying to eat with him, mate. Do you know what I mean? It's not. It's not what. It, it's not that. Yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm waiting for me thighs. I'm just like you. I'm just like you. <laughs> I, eat, I eat chicken just like a normal person. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No airs and graces about me. Petty, petty sauce, wasn't it? Peppercorn <laughs> sauce. <laughs> peppercorn <laughs> sauce. I've never had peppercorn sauce in Nando's. Mm. I don't know what Nando's you're going Life to. Life luxury, man. You don't know what you're missing. <clears throat> I'm not, not saying I've not had it. There's never in Nando's. That's... That's a new one for me. Dom, you're, everything's good in your world? Yeah. Right? All in the good. kit being Dom, yeah? It's all good? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Loads of new releases. Lots of exciting stuff going on. Definitely loads to uh, to fill the uh, gap in the season. So, yeah, uh, as always, looking forward to this. I know we touted a possible break for the summer, but the fans said no. They said, no, you can't go. The fan, the one, the one person that loves the show said, no. <laughs> I'll have no, I'll literally have nothing to do if you don't stick around. Fuck a break, mate. No, let's carry on. I'm obviously okay doing them on a Wednesday now. Yeah. But when the season starts again, well, I'll be busy, team. pal. I mean, I preempted the change in, in scheduling. Do you know what I mean? So they come out on a six at six now. So plenty of time to get ready for, for the Champions League next season because Manchester United will be there. So that's that's really fun. Someone is with us whose team's not going to be in Europe next season. Oh, what a segue. Thank you for leading me up to that. That was absolutely <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> it is our resident Chelsea fan within the rankers. And it, it's Jay from Retro Football Kits. Evening, mate. Everything okay with you? Yeah, I'll be free. I'll be very free in the week <laughs> next season. Um, yeah. One game I'm a really week. Friend, mate. Yeah, every year, literally. You win the league. <laughs> Imagine uh, I think it's crossed. But yeah, I'm good. I, I think if you ignore the football, which I have done for most of the season, I've been pretty good. I've had a nice chill weekend, bank holiday weekend, and that's so yeah, I've enjoyed it. Best thing to do. Mate. As your uh, your backside cooled down from the hiding you got on uh, Thursday night from Manchester United, yeah? mate. I don't know. I, what wondered, you're about. I oh, wondered where you were going with that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's that's for that's for talking kit X rated. That's for the only fans go, go yeah. on the only fans. The only <laughs> fan. <laughs> The only fan, the one that wants us to carry on with folk it ranking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Other than that, mate, you know, you do the retro football kits, which is which is amazing. But, you know, your you, you football channel as well is doing really well. I've been watching. It's weird, like, in a Chelsea fan's content, to be fair. But, I, you know, you're my friend, so I have to. But, no, I did like, I did like the, the vlog from, from the game. Yeah, two, very an, two very handsome Mancunians popping up in that as well, which was great. You're both, you're both before the game saying, yeah, we're going to smash you and then bang. Cut to smashing us. <laughs> of course, we enjoyed it. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but no, mate, thank you again for for, for popping in and, and being with us. Me on, man. Another person making a return to Falkin Rankers, which is fucking brilliant. We was all down at Retro Football Kits the other day as well. He was like a kid in a candy shop, which I am like when I'm there. It's Andy Bloody Tate. How you, mate? How you doing? Thank you. Evening, gentlemen. Thank you for the bows. No bows needed. I'm just like one of you. Uh, I visited the Bat Cave, uh, the toy shop from heaven. Uh, oh yeah, I was, I was like a, I was like a, was like a twelve year old man. I tell you, all them kits I got now. Going, I see some kits from the eighties and nineties. I brought, even like I say, double A pulled out this Napoli shirt I had when I was seventeen. 
Oh, that 1992 match, like, Jesus, and Red Napoli <laughs> one. So, uh, yeah, major nostalgia overload. And you know what? I loved it. I even told my girlfriend, I've told my mate, oh, yeah, yeah. And I said, I'm, I'm going back again with Saeed. We'll have a bit of fun <laughs> in the summer, checking retro kits, love it. Speaking of retro football kits, before we get into that, actually, before we get into the housekeeping, make sure you smash like on the video, by the way, if you've not done that already, that should be a given, really. You know, when you come into someone's house, you wipe your, your feet on the rug. When you come into a talking kit video, smash a like, the first thing you need to do. It's only polite and it's manners. Uh, if it's your first time talking kit, maybe you talk kit all the time, subscribe to the channel. That would be nice as well. Uh, always appreciative by the uh, talking kit team. And yeah, share it with your kit loving friends. There's plenty of us around now. So yeah, make them become a kit head just as much as you. And we are. That would be fantastic. The rest of the housekeeping, let's get into that, shall we? And as you should know, with our good friend Jay here from Retro Football Kits, they do sponsor full kit rankers, how lucky they are. But as well as that, as well as having, it's, it's not a sale, but they, they mark down their prices 10% for you off the market value site-wide on every single thing. But with the code talking kit 10 you can get an extra 10% so that for those who are bad at math, Dom, and that's 20% off site wide for everyone using talking kit 10 uh go and do it you like you know andy's not a liar if anything he speaks from the heart he speaks the truth he's saying it's an absolute wonderland down at retro football kits so if you're into your shirts which you should be watching this this channel that that would make perfect sense wouldn't it why why are you watching a kit a video on football kits? or maybe you don't like them but this gets you into them and our beautiful faces also help with that as well so yeah, if you're teetering on the edge of thinking, I want to start a football kit collection. You know, I'll watch four guys rank some shirts furiously. And then I'll go and buy some at retrofootballkits.co.uk using Talking Kit 10 to get an extra 10% off site wide. That would make perfect sense. So, yeah, so go and do that. That would be wonderful. Right. So, everyone's introduced. Everyone is here. There's no Sean this week. Uh, he is, I believe, curled up in a corner, crying his eyes out over stopping oh. at Wembley yesterday. Oh. Poor lad. Poor lad. <laughs> feel really bad for him. He was there yesterday as well at Wembley, unfortunately. So, he's watched it live as his team lost on penalties. But uh, he's not here. So, obviously, I don't rank anymore. He's got the, the three guys here. And then we've enlisted uh, our good friend Dan from Shirt Hits, the fan, who's over in Italy at the moment, sending me pictures of him in the women's Sampdoria team on a beach randomly. We've got Mike from Mike's Iconic Kits to help rank as well. They've both sent me like nice little blurbs. They've both done a J this week in giving us some nice little... Um, and I don't think uh, it says... what did he, what's, what's your usual phrase that you say, J? Dom, you know it. What does he say now? A great era for kits. Yeah, I don't think great, it said once. A great era. I don't think it said once in their blue. What a slack in their blue. In the <laughs> well, they know, they know that's your phrase, mate. So they don't want to step on your toes, I'm guessing. Uh, but anyway, let's get into this, this week's theme. We've not even mentioned that yet. So as you know, it was the end of the Premier League uh, season at the weekend just gone, unfortunately. So I'll be honest. It was a last minute um, thing by me, a last minute <laughs> feed by me. Literally ha half seven on bank holiday Monday morning. I, I thought of it. A very tenuous link. I sent it out to the guys and, and rapidly come back to me. I, I appreciate you coming back so quick, guys. It's uh, made my job a lot easier. But no, because football is going away, I thought, why not rank the top 10 teams that finished in the Premier League? We'll look at their away shirt. Some of them we have seen. It's very tenuous, mate. I know, I know. I apologise. But sometimes, sometimes that's just how you have to roll. Yeah, so we'll look at their away shirts because football's going away. And yeah, we'll see what the guys thought of them overall. And we can talk a little about a bit about each team's season. We'll throw a bit of football in there this week because we've got yeah. Andy on. And Andy obviously is the, uh, the pinnacle of football knowledge, as we all know. So uh, I just thought it'd be a nice little end to the Premier League season. And we look forward from here. So, yeah, we've looked at the top 10 teams. Uh, I, I will go through them, obviously, as we go, where they finished and everything like that. So, 10 shirts and one come dead last. I mean, the shirt above it had double the points. So, it's definitely one that <laughs> has come dead, dead last. Seven points. I mean, not even got double figures, which kind of tells you the story. And I'm absolutely gutted, to be honest, because I, I disagree with every single one of yours. It's I think it's a beautiful shirt. I really like it. And I think 
on the pitch. I saw it live at Old Trafford. On the pitch, it is stunning. Under the lights, it was a night game as well that we played them. It was under the lights. Right, seven points overall this week. Our bottom shirt. It's uh, it's Tottenham Hotspur. Oh, and they're away. God. It's oh. gorgeous. What is wrong no. with you? No, no, no. no. What, is, what is wrong with you all? What's wrong right with it? It's purple, white, black, illuminous green. You just, you, I've just named four of the best colours in the world. And it looks nice. It looks oh, nice. Oh, I can oh, see you all painted it. <laughs> right? And what, again, again, what's wrong with that? Well, Andy, right, so not, not, none, none, none of you has had it above ninth. So we'll go through everyone. The rankers that aren't here, we had Mike who had it in... He had it in ninth place. We didn't put it dead last. There was one that, that beat it. He just says it looks cheap. I don't agree. I mean, if it's the stadium version, potentially, or uh, you know, but the dry fit advance, it, I, I imagine it looks it looks nice with a pattern and stuff. Uh, and good old Dan, he said, I, I imagine, yeah, it, it, it's a it, it's a it's a paragraph. So, in the words of Sir Alex, it's Tottenham. Brilliant. One of the worst shirts of all time. Then block capitals all time. <laughs> Thanos couldn't click this away. Looks like a bum bag from 1994. Got stretched over a body and that body is shit. I mean, say what you really <laughs> think, man. Say what you really think. We'll come to Andy. Andy, because you... You had it in temp, so you, you didn't like it at all. Bum bag from nineteen ninety four. You 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 agree with that one? Yeah, there's like something you get in Primark for nine ninety nine with a summer shirt. You know what I mean? It's like a cheap, tacky mishmash. You know, what I, mean? I, I I get Spurs like well would, would have a, like a sort of a purplish type full kit, but that oh, it, it looks like a goalkeeper. It's like having eleven goalkeepers, isn't it? Fucking shit. I'm sorry, I don't want to swear, but it's shit. <laughs> it's mingy. Whoever come up with this design and Daniel Levy approved this. <laughs> Jesus Christ and Harry Kane. Oh, I know Spurs, I know we're shit, Jesus, but do I have to wear this? I mean, it's good. I wonder, it's good. I wonder North London's fucking red. And who, who's going to go walk around fucking wearing that? You're the Spurs fan. <laughs> I think you'd be surprised. I mean, look at that. It looks beautiful. Nah. Oh, it, nah. it looks great. It only looks good because he relegated the Sheep Shaggers leads. That hey. is, it had its 90 minutes yesterday. That's it. Hey, he scored two goals in it yesterday. And he scored four. I, I, I'm sorry, guy. I don't agree. I think it is a beautiful shirt. I, I really like it. It's out there. It's different. Caught it. I get. I imagine a lot of people come up to you and talk to you. They might be calling you a bell end and saying, "What the hell are you doing with that one?" But I mean, it starts conversation. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, Jay, let's come to you on this one again. You did. You had it in ninth, so there's only one shirt worse for you. But I mean, Spurs have had a, a really bad season for them, even though Harry Kane scored 30 goals. Do you agree? It's a bit of a goalkeeper shirt, or Daniel oh, Levy mate. should resign. It's it's dreadful. I've I've already spoke on this channel and on my own channel about how bad the night template is, yeah. and this is this is the pinnacle. This is the worst of it all. The kind of semicircle design at the top, just no. But I, I, the second I saw this, it looks like a scuba diving suit. That's all I can see. That's all, I, or, or a wetsuit. You know what I mean? That's all I can see. I think that it's. I can kind of see where you're coming from where you like it. I like the neon, I do, but maybe they should have. It should have been all neon and no purple. It's it's the patchwork, it's the colours. It none of it's right and completely fit in for Tottenham. <laughs> okay, fair, fair. Well, the um, training shirt. <laughs> their training shirt's probably better. That, that, yeah, I think that's true for most clubs. To be honest with you, the, yeah. the bibs are better. <laughs> <laughs> it looks a bit like a bib, to be fair. <laughs> It looks like they've, they've put their arms in something like, and they can't get the t shirt over. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's just there. I promise yeah. it fits. I promise it. I'm not like that with most of my shirts at the minute, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, the football night theme club, night club, you can bring a football <laughs> shirt. That's the one I wouldn't get in. That's the one. You're not getting anywhere that on, mate. You're, nah, even, pull, you're not even pulling I, that. 
Andy, you'd look sick. You'd look sick in a cage dancing to some techno to this, mate. I'm telling you. <laughs> you'd look. You'd look amazing, mate. I'm telling you. Okay, I'm going to change my score. I'm going to change my score. <laughs> <laughs> First place, get in. Uh, Dom, let's finish off with you on this one then, because it was bottom of your list as well. I mean, it's just that I, I know what I know what uh, Jay is saying with that night template. Even though I personally do like some of the shirts that that use it, I can see why people are put off by that because it accentuates that semicircle and it's sort of. I mean, it is a mismatch of colours. But yeah. for you, what, what is it that's... Is it all that that, that they get so wrong with this shirt? Well, it's the template and the fact that, obviously, the way in which they've situated the the badge, the uh, Nike logo and the sponsor just looks too congested in that area. And it, it's not helped by the framing of the of the template itself. So, yeah, that's that's horrible. And like Jay, I, can't, I literally cannot get away from the wetsuit thing. And normally, as you well know, I'm, I'm bang into water sports. Um, and it'd be yeah normally <laughs> I'd be all over anything to do with that. Um, but I think I've heard that this is the reason Harry Kane's leaving because it's that bad. It is <laughs> dreadful. If you was wearing that during water sports, a shark won't even eat you in that. <laughs> That's how <laughs> even a shark could turn away. Yeah, you know I, I've got taste, but no. Oh, did 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 you mean those water sports? <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> Right, uh, but to be fair, I wouldn't piss on this. Uh, it is dreadful. <laughs> That's a load of tone, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's a family show. I don't know what kind of family watches this, but right, okay. There's Spurs. There's our away shirt from this season. Yeah, you know Tottenham and their big cock. No, not Harry Kane. It is obviously the, the Spurs logo. Uh, it's come dead last this week. Seven points overall on our list from our rankers. Moving on, like I said, double the points, which kind of tells you no one fancied it whatsoever. And it's probably not even, it's not a problem. I don't think it's a better shirt. And it is this, it is Fulham and their away shirt, 14 points, like I say, from the rankers. The two that aren't here, let's start with Dan. And Dan had this, you'll be surprised, guys. Dan had this in fourth place, right? <laughs> Sponsors, bit big. I think he means a bit big. Sponsors, bit big. But a great pattern. I love a pattern. Well, that's that's all we need to know from the, you then, Dan. Uh, and Mike, this was Mike's bottom. Uh, it says it hurts to look at. I, I kind of get that. It does look like a magic eye, doesn't it? Like you pull it out, like it's going to be a picture of the Eiffel Tower, from it, maybe. Um, from the rankers that are in the room. Um, Andy, we'll start with... No, 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 I'll leave you to last, actually, Andy. Uh, Jay, start with you on this one. And it was your... This was your bottom shirt as well uh, as as Mike. What was it about this one that, that kind of you didn't like? I'm gonna say, makes sense. Yeah, there's just too much going on. I think with this one, vision like with the Tottenham one, it's like the colours and the shapes are all off. But there's at least visually, it's not just too jarring. Whereas this one, you kind of you can't really look at it for too long. The sponsors like like it is a bit big. For sure, yeah. it's massive, it, and there's no need for that. And then that on top of the pattern just creates a crazy. I saw you can't even like see the sponsor, like because it's so much of a an illusion. And yeah, the gradients and the grain, there's just too much going on. I I do love a pattern on a kit, but for this one, it's just too erratic for me. Yeah, I, I agree. I think <laughs> you're right with a sponsor. Uh, I mean, if it was different color or had an outline. It yeah. just like they're trying to blend it in and it doesn't work. Do you know? I mean? Yeah, I, I I get what you're saying. And there, let's come to you next on this one. And this was your ninth place shirt, so you've got it. You've got it spot on this week. Yeah, what was it for you about the Craven Cottage Club's away shirt that wasn't wasn't too it's, good? It's a cross between a packet of mints and your static when you're tuning in your telly. <laughs> That's what it is. The middle bit, it's static. When you auto tuning only or manual tuning, and all you get is analog. It's like the old analog system back from my day as well. But I, I just don't like it. I'm like WW88. What is that? Is it what even that? He's been wanking since 1988. And he still can't fucking get it right. You know what I mean? He's been trying to tune it since 1988. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I, I assume I think it's a better sponsor, but no, I mean, wanking since '88 is probably better. To be fair, <laughs> leave, 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 leave that in. Yeah, why, why not? Why not? Uh, but follow though, and then I've I followed had a good season. They managed to stay up. We played them yesterday. Yeah, they had a good season. I'm surprised they didn't wear this because it would have been a good send off, wouldn't it? You know, get wearing this old Trafford yesterday. You, you know. <laughs> It would have sort of sting out of the performance from Fulham, you know, where everybody would have been pointing at the kit, not the performance. And Fred, you imagine Fred playing in that next season. If, if rumours are true of him going, he's playing in that. Fred, cup, stay, son, stay. All is forgiven. You do not want to be playing in that. <laughs> well, luckily they'll, they'll be changing it. But yeah, okay, that's fair. Um, I can't get wanking since 88 out of my head now. That's all I'm going to think about. <laughs> For the rest of the show, to be honest with you. Name, <laughs> name of my biography, that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm definitely going to cut this little bit out, but you think the women's team has F88 on it? <laughs> I, for the record, I applaud that. I applaud that. <laughs> Are your mates with the Sampdoria team abroad, the jammy bastards? <laughs> yeah. okay, uh, Tom, let's finish with you as well on this one. Because it was eighth place, so it's a little bit higher than the rest of the guys. Uh, apart from Dan, who had it in fourth place, weirdly. Yeah. I mean, Adidas are, are doing some weird stuff at the moment for, for certain teams. Yeah. It's yeah. A, yeah. And I, I, mark. No, of course it does. It has done since since the start of the season. Um, they put it out with the marketing fluff as um, it's to do with the design, it's to do with the bricks of Craven Cottage, which seems like a nice enough link. Yeah. But then uh, Adidas also had it as a, a template for standard Liège. So it's probably like, well, <laughs> what have they got to do with Craven Cottage then? <laughs> uh, so I don't like the bullshit behind it all. And the fact that it looks like blurred poker chips with a massive sp- betting sponsor reminds me of being in like the g casino at our four in the morning thinking i'm like um on a top table of poker but really i'm just sat there on a the wrong table with no chips at all it's a uh, yeah it's dreadful don't like it the the colorway is decent yeah. um but yeah that's literally about it yeah, I, I, I agree with you, mate. I don't think they've done too well. I think, do you know what? It's one thing I've changed. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, that looks quite nice. I don't know if it was a sponsorless version or so, but then obviously anything with a, a betting sponsor on. Yeah, shorts look awesome. a bit decent. I'll give it that. I'll wear the shorts if you're going swimming. You get away with them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure we can hook you up, Andy, if you want a pair of <laughs> Fulham shorts. I'm sure we can sort you out. Uh, well, no, there we go then. Fulham's away shirt from this season. Um, managing to stay up nicely. Where did they finish in the league? They finished in the good old place of 10th place. Um, so just creeping into the top 10, which is not bad under Marco Silva. Let's see if they can do the same next season. Uh, but yeah, 14 points from our rankers. Right, shirt number eight. And it got 18 points overall from the guys this week. And it's another team in London. It's Brentford. Uh, another West London team as well. Uh, yeah, 14 points. I mean, the, sp- the, be- the sponsor. The sponsor, guys. The fucking sponsor. Uh, we'll go through some of the rankers that are here before we get to the ones that aren't, uh, being fair. We finished off with him last shirt, so we'll start with him on this one. Dom, uh, come to you. It was seventh on your list. I mean, the retro badge is great. The better sponsor mm. absolutely hammers it. It is. Come on. The, the retro badge would be great if they kept it as the retro badge being white with the red stripes inside it. Oh, right. This monochromatic thing just to appease marketing um, shouldn't be done, especially when harking back to a significant badge um, from a from a time beyond. So, yeah, I think I think they miss a mark in that regard. Obviously, the betting sponsors honking, um, yeah. but um, Ivan Tony will probably like it. Um, there's a team in which uh, I posted on Twitter they have a, a new sponsor and it's actually called Tony Bet and uh, I think they're looking for a striker as well so um, yeah it could be worse but yeah the, the problem I mainly have with it it looks cheap yeah it looks like it'd rip uh, the panelling obviously the pattern uh, which could be what reminiscent of water I don't know um, doesn't follow onto the sleeves and yeah it's uh, just a bit meh to coin a J phrase 
just just a bit mad. Speaking of Jay, Jay had it in eighth place. He's got it spot on in terms of his ranking this week. Yeah, I mean, Jay, they're a good team. They're getting another betting sponsor, which isn't great considering that everyone wants to get rid of him and they are going to get rid of pretty soon. Do you think the blue on blue, just with everything being blue and blue, just doesn't work for this shirt at all? It needs to be mixed up a little bit with some dash of something else. Yeah, hundred percent. It is. It is. You've took the words out of my mouth, Tom. It's extremely <laughs> meh. It really is. Like it's just nothing, is it? It's, the pattern's weird. The sleeves that it doesn't do the thing. I think what baffles me nowadays as well is like in the world of of, of millions of graphic designers, how a betting company with all the money in the world can't have a good logo at least. It's insane. Like what even it like what is that? I don't know. Like that that's just a, a graphic design <laughs> stress, but that makes the kit look worse. I don't like the cuffs as well. They're really thick. Mm-hmm. I think uh, you saw that with a lot of RB. Um, RB New Balance um, uh, kits this season, but yeah, it's there's not enough going on. Like you said, maybe you're right. If a, a dash of a different color could have saved it, but it's yeah, it's average, isn't it? Absolutely is. And the rankers that aren't here, we had Dan who had this in ninth place, and he kindly said about it. I want to get it up. Sponsor. <laughs> Hard to kill a kit quicker, he said, which is pretty spot on. And Mike had this in seventh. Boring, but loved the alternate badge. Uh, careful what you say, because you get told off by Dom, because it's not the right colours, apparently. So, yeah. <laughs> Andy, let's let's finish off with you on this one. And it was your... You had it in sixth place. So it's middle of the road for you. Was it something appealing to it? That, you know... Yeah. I think, the, I think the retro badge is very appealing, but yeah. it looks like it looks very cheap and tacky for that for all that Umbro. Umbro can do better kits than this. I've seen like better kits, like even like, say Derby County have had better kits than this, and like they're like Umbro and this, that, and the other. But yeah, I, I love the retro heritage badge and all that. A bit of nostalgia, but like I say it looks cheap and tacky, man. It really doesn't. Like you say, the cuffs on the arms. It, it should it should be all that colour if it's going to be anything, but yeah, for me, nice bit of nostalgia, but yeah, cheap and tacky, man. Umbro yeah. can do better. Yeah, I agree, and they, they tend to normally. So it looks like Brentford and their away shirt are taking a stroll down the Walk of Shame rather than Walk of Fame. Coming eighth on our list this week. That's the Hollywood bets. <laughs> no, no one ever mind. If no one got that, that was the Hollywood. I got it. I just didn't want to give yeah. it any credence no. whatsoever. <laughs> I know, I know you wouldn't because you're an asshole. But I knew Jay was struggling. I was oh, being mate, polite I... to Jay. I knew it went over there, so I thought I better explain. Well, thanks for being kind, Dom. Yeah, appreciate it. Eighth place for Brentford, um, coming ninth in the Premier League this season. Eighteen points overall. Right, let's not mess around. Let's go into the straight. Oh, we've got two shirts. That uh joint six now, by the way. Uh, both on 23 points. The first one is going to be a team that absolutely turned it around second half of the season. Uh, so much so, their, their manager was wrongly for me. Put in the uh, list for manager of the year. Oh, there's a shirt, by the way, but no one cares. Uh, Aston Villa and their away shirt. Uh, Castor, Kazoo. Uh, Jay's favourite team from the Midlands. Uh, so we will start with him. I feel like it's only Ooh. fair. <laughs> uh, Jay, you had this. In, you, had this <laughs> <laughs> you had this in sixth place. What are your yeah. thoughts on your favorite team from the Midlands and their away shirt? Oh, <laughs> oh, it's so good. Uh, Villa are just one of the most frustrating clubs in the world because now they've got European football. They're so happy and they deserve to be there and just piss off. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this kit, though, um, I, I, I don't agree with your shout, by the way. I think Emery's done a really good... They were rubbish before, and he's made Mings look like an actual defender. He's done a great job. But uh, yeah. um... I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not discounting that. I just think <laughs> he shouldn't be in the shout. But maybe he should. I just, basically, Ten Hag should be there, and that's what pisses me off. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Of that's course. all I'm saying. Um, yeah. But the kit, the kit's nice. It's all right. I think it's... Um, yeah. Again, it's a little simple, uh, like the like the Brentford one, 
Um, but you know, it's it's just inversing the colours of, of Villa. I think the Kazoo logo is obviously trash as well. But I like the shininess. That's a little bit nineties, isn't it? The kind of striped shiny pattern, and there's yeah. a little bit of piping in there. It's all right. It's again, it's just, it's decent. It's not actually too insulting. It's it's middle of the road for me. Yeah, I th- yeah, maybe. Mike from Mike Iconics Kits had this in eighth. He just says it's a bit dull, to be fair. Uh, and uh, for you, it was in fifth fifth place. This one, are you a fan of the? You know, you, you know, you like your retro kits, and that's a very retro looking color in it. The, the sort of light yeah, blue. Yeah, sort blue. of. Um, it sort of reminds me. Let's say it's like Liverpool had a sort of that 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 shade of grey in the late nineties kit, but um, late eighties, early nineties. I I like the, the, the like say it's the color. It's like say yeah. it's nostalgic. The, I like the badge, and I say uh, I like the piping down the arms as well. But uh, it's um, I don't know. I'm, I don't know anything about this. The kit manufacturer. I know they do Salford, don't they, or something like that. Yeah, and uh, Newcastle. Years, yeah, they, they've been on the scene a few years now, haven't they? So uh, yeah. they do ranges and that as well. So yeah, I, I'm not sure about the logo. The logo's a bit too high up for me. You know, like you see, it's not central. You know, it's like it's pushing up towards you. Like you're looking, looking down. You can actually see it under your nostrils. So, <laughs> <laughs> should be yeah, but he should be a little bit lower than sponsor. But yeah, I like it. It's 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 it's, it's colourful. It's colourful. It is definitely that. Yeah, Castor reminds me of you know before where before FIFA and ISS got the license for like Nike and Adidas and. You have to have a logo on the kits on the computer game. That's what it looks like, Castor. I don't know. It's not the blurred one, and it, it you just get yeah. blurred. It's sort of a kit. What does he say? But it's, it's too blurred. You can't see it. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Dan had this one in seven. Very tidy. Color is great, but yeah, Castor. Um, I was going to come up with a silly, stupid. No, everyone's been doing that. Well, basically, it was when your team's on the floor and you're almost top four. That's Castor. Eh? Well, we won't. We won't do that. We won't. Sounds like a yogurt if you take the bottom bit off. <laughs> Sounds like. Sounds yogurt. like one of them drinks nourishments rep- replenishes you, doesn't it? <laughs> Your immune system, Kazoo. Full, full of sugar, yeah, Kazoo. <laughs> Kazoo. <laughs> Kazoo. <laughs> Kazoo. <laughs> Kazoo. Kazoo. That's that's a that's a that's a drink, isn't it? Is it a Yazoo? <laughs> Yeah, 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 there's Yazoo. a difference. What you could you could get away and make a cheap one and sell it in Aldi, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I look forward to going to Aldi and seeing your kazoo in, in, the, in the stores, Ander, to be fair. That would be interesting. Tom, um, let's come to you lastly on this one because it was your sixth place shirt. So you've got it, you've got it spot on this week. Uh, last time they're going to have that badge on, on a shirt, they change it next yeah. season. Obviously, go back to that sort of the 80s looking one, kind of 80s, early 90s. Round one. The round one they go for, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, Lion looking yes, the other yes. way as well. Uh, well. Yeah, so what do you think on Castor and this shirt, really? I think they've, um, obviously, they've got a bit of a dicky name in the market, haven't they? So um, I think for fans that purchase their shirts, there's been that many issues with them. I think generally they're facing an uphill battle in um, appealing to to fans of uh, clubs that they're manufacturing for. But as an outsider, I, I don't... I don't really mind them, but I understand obviously there's a load of issues and they do kind of do this thing where they look at stuff for reference from previous years or kits or, um, you know, uh, great eras for kits and stuff like that. Um, It'd be, yeah, uh, the sensible thing to do to try and appeal to people. But if if the shirts are a load of shit and the badges are being put on upside down and sponsors (laughs) are falling off, then you you got there's only one way you go in. And I know from a few people... Yeah, yeah, I know from a few yeah. people they, they don't think these are going to stick around for that that much longer. Um, so they're taking out big contracts, um, but the um, supply and demand's not there so uh, because Phil, they've Phil got going to change it. Have a new kit manufacturer next season. Not next season, but um, yeah, the, I think um, yeah, the the writing's on the wall um, for for this mob. Uh, yeah, Come so the, Hummel, yeah, that Hummel, that would be yeah. the perfect perfect thing for Villa, um, and because Hummel do throwbacks better than any other manufacturer, they'd be onto a winner. It'd be a gold mine for him. Um, but yeah, I think uh, because of the fact that the, a lot of the Castori stuff is just massively overpriced, 
get to the end of the season and it's like his bargain bin tackle. Uh, this, to be fair, isn't that it, it's not that offensive. And like Jay said, it's got nice piping. I don't like the little bullet holes for sweat down the sides of these shirts. Um, but yeah, the, the pinstripe on the, you know, the like kind of Victoria's Secret sheen on it, I'm all for that. Um, so yeah, they're not too bad at all, but them, the, that manufacturer is just not great. And the Kazu thing, um, obviously they should start selling yogurts with their cars um, just as a, as a little side hustle. Um, but yeah, the, the writing underneath the sponsor doesn't need to be there. It's not there for for some of the other shirts that they uh, sponsor. So, yeah, uh, it take that away and it gets a little bit better. Yeah, absolutely. Aston Villa then. Uh, come in joint six on our list this week with 23 points. The second shirt in joint six. You never guess what, guys. It's another Castor shirt. <laughs> and it's uh, Newcastle United. I think they've actually designed a nice shirt there. Take away the sponsor, obviously. Uh, for Newcastle, obviously, getting top four. Back in the Champions League, first time in 20 years. Outstanding, to be honest with you. And, yeah, this was their away shirt for this season. Going through the rankings. Let's start with the two that aren't here this time. Uh, Dan had this in eighth. Um, he's pretty much said see above, so he's talking about Villa. Uh, and that sponsor, please fuck off, he says. Uh, <laughs> sorry to any, anyone that's offended by rude words, but it's, I think there's going to be a lot in this show, to be fair. So, uh, suck it up, I guess. And Dan... <laughs> Uh, not that, suck, um, it uh, suck it up, not suck it off. Come on, <laughs> you know. And Mike had it in six. He says simple but nice colors. Okay, uh, who would like to go for it? Andy, let's come to you first on this one. Uh, Newcastle getting top four, which is brilliant. Um, well, for them, if you're a fan of them, I guess you had this one in you had it in fourth place. You, you're a fan of the color scheme, I guess. Uh, on yeah, this, I like on this because it, it sort of reminds me, I think it was 97, 98. It was a Newcastle yeah. Adidas kit like this. Yeah, you're and right. It, yeah. it had sort of the, the blue, the gold, it had the Newcastle brown ale. At that sort of like that colour, that colour that with a little bit of yellow there. Oh, but yeah. It, it was a, that's a V neck, but this had a colour. And it sort of reminds me of that sort of kit. And like you say, late 90s. Nice kit. But like, to what I say, just like the Fulham sponsor, he was doing that in he was wanking in '87. So what was he doing for fun in '88? The dirty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. There's, it's there's a lot that. going I mean, on in '88. '88 was a great year, clearly. I don't know what was happening. But <laughs> well, we do <laughs> now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Someone yeah. was conceived in '88 after '87. <laughs> <laughs> no, want me, want me. Uh, <laughs> Dom, uh, let's come to you next on it. And it was uh, your ninth place shirt. Was is it the sponsor? I'm going to say uh, it's that, and it's the manufacturer and the fact that although they uh, they've got a bit of a reputation for manufacturing cheap and shoddy products, this one they've designed it to look cheap and shoddy. The sleeve detail looks like it's ripped already. Um, I don't like it, or it looks like what they believe the Newcastle skyline is going to be in about three years' time, uh, with all the money that's going <laughs> being pumped into the city. Uh, yeah, uh, the the nacho cheese yellow is a bit off putting as well. It's making me a bit hungry. Um, but yeah, not not a, not a massive fan to be honest. All right, then from uh, from one jalapeno to. Uh... Jay, you had it in fifth place. I'm not even sorry. I say every week, I'm not even sorry. Yeah, you want liners on a Monday. It's real good, mate. Keep him up. Keep him up. <laughs> Wednesday. Well, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, Wednesday. <laughs> now, <laughs> Jay, come to you. It was fifth place in, in your list then. Uh, great, again, great season for Newcastle. Obviously, you won't know, but, you know, top four club and that, going in Europe and stuff. Top half of the table. Um, it's interesting. Great kit. A great away, great away kit for him, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it is. Um, it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. I like, like Andy said, that it's a bit of a retro throwback to the late nineties blue. I think it was. I wish that one was a bit more blue. I, I wish it was yeah. this one because this was quite a deep dark. Whereas that's a bit more of like a shiny one, yeah, which would have yeah. been a bit cooler. You set the yellow spots off it as well. I didn't know it's yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I got sweat holes. 
<laughs> the sweat holes are a little bit disturbing, but it also kind of reminds me of like a like a UV kit, you know, the the the, the blue and the yellow ones from back in the day, which I quite like. And yeah, it's just a bit funky. It's got a little bit about it with the sleeves, uh, the golden badge as well. I think is really cool. I know that UV um, kit as well. I had that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I had yeah, Sky Sports on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, As, I'll, be, I'll be honest, mate. It's probably easy for you to say, tell us a shirt you didn't have. I think you've had every <laughs> single shirt in the world. I had the best collection, you, mate. <laughs> Put um, us all to shame. Put us all to shame, Andy. For sure. Uh, you are, you got the best collection, guys. It's just like when it was paid day, treat yourself to a shirt every month, wasn't it? <laughs> that, 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 that retro, that's stock, mate. That's not a collection. That's not a collection. <laughs> <laughs> we sell that. I wish that was our collection. <laughs> oh, um, but yeah, no, it, it, it's just cool. It's a little bit different. I mean, their their fourth shirt that they wore like once is way better, and that would have been cooler. Um, yeah. You know, the skyline of, of Newcastle in it uh, instead of this fake one. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, no, it, I thought it was pretty cool. It stood out amongst the rest of one, the rest of them. Yeah, Newcastle doing top things. Decent shirt, giant six uh, along with Villa, twenty three points overall. Okay. Next year on the list, and it's number five, 26 points. Just getting there, but three points ahead of the previous two. I don't know how this is so high up, honestly. And it's not bias at all. It's just a god-awful <laughs> shirt. A god-awful shirt, guys. It's Liverpool on their away shirt from this season. How has this got in the top five? What is wrong with you? Uh, we'll go through the rankers then, and we'll find out exactly how it has. And... Yeah, I mean, Mike had it in fourth place, right? I'm interested to find out why. Only time they'll get top four this season. Fair play, mate. That, that's that's a great <laughs> little, That's a great dig. That's a great dig. I get it. I get it. But you're not told us why you like the shirt, mate. What is it about? I need more about that, to be fair. Get in the comments. Let us know why you've decided to put this to fourth place in. I know, I know Marcus, Kit Man Man, loves this shirt. He absolutely raves about it. I don't, I don't get it. Let's go through some of the rankers that are here. Um, and Jay, we'll kick it off w- with you on this one. And it was seventh place for you overall. I mean, the good thing about it, I guess, for you, you can't tell it's that night template. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it hides it well, doesn't it? It hides it well. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan. That's why it's quite low down for me. I think it's better than the Tottenham one and it's better than the um, the Fulham one for sure. It's It looks like... Um, you know, when it's been raining at a, a petrol station and you look at the floor, and it's, <laughs> it's all, it looks a bit colourful. That's what it reminds me of, uh, which I don't, that's probably not a good thing, is it? Um, but at least it's a little bit out there. You can see this as like a, a as a training kit, can't you? And it would work way better. But as an actual way shirt, it's just a bit too jarring, isn't it? It's a bit too much. And the tenuous link to the music scene of the city is also a little bit annoy, annoying as well. So, yeah, I I'm, I'm, didn't really like this one. Yeah, no, I agree. I think the third shirt that they had, they wore against, yeah, um, against Southampton at the weekend, is actually not not bad. I don't really like green shirts, but I don't think it's actually that bad. Yeah, um, yeah, it's not bad. It's a lot better than this, anyway. Uh, Andy, let's come to you next on it. And it was eighth place for you uh, this week. You know, you're never going to have Liverpool, Liverpool in your top five, no, are you, I, mate? Regardless. No, I think this is a minging kit. You know, you know when you rub your eyes and, and you and you see them little blotches floating around your eyes, them little, and you think they're there, and they go <laughs> there, 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 there. That's what it looks like. That's what it is. It's just there's nothingness. It's empty. <laughs> or maybe when you're pissed and you fucking you see wiggly lines, you get too drunk. You're seeing something like that going over. If that's Dedicated to the music scene of Liverpool. Fucking, I'm glad the Beatles came first. I'm telling you they were the best thing out. Anything else out of there? Fucking hell with that kit. You must be joking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Dan, well, yeah. I didn't know where that was going. I, I, I don't know. I, it, it, it took it took me away there. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Fuck's sake. Dan, sure, it's the fan. He had it fifth. He, he's got it bang on this week. Uh, Liverpool, again, good pattern, but that, that template is almost criminal. He's, he's speaking out of Jay's handbook there on, on the template, obviously. Dom, we'll finish it off with you, mate. Again, another, how have you had this in your top five? 
because every time they've worn this, they got beat. So I've got do- <laughs> lovely, jubilant <laughs> memories of this kit. I fucking love it. Wear it every day next season as well. Mate, I can't get enough of it. <laughs> Um, the fact that they've got such a piss poor record in it, and it, as if it's cursed, um, I fucking love it. That famous great kit, double A, has from the hundred percent. Yeah, I think it's just it's a mad buzz. Obviously, there's there's that untuned telly link again, um, yeah. but yeah, it's um, it's just a bit fucking mental. But I love the fact that they've just had a torrid time in it and. Uh, for that reason, I just put it high up because I, I genuinely, every time I look at it, it makes me smile. Finishing fifth on our list, just like they finished fifth in the Premier League this season. We're getting into the top four, somewhere Liverpool aren't. And uh, 31 points overall, a little bit of a jump. And a team that, you know, at one point this season, were touted for top four. Uh, just missed out, though. Had a great season anyway. They are in Europe for the first time in their history. Oh, there's a picture of someone wearing it, but no one cares. It's... Um, yeah. Brighton and their away shirt, deep, dark. It, it's almost like a Shakhtar shirt for me, uh, but in a nice way, in a nice way. Um, the rankers that I heard, Dan had this in sixth place, did the best uh, with Nike UK and the absolute shit they give anyone not Barcelona or PSG. We've just seen what Nike give some teams previous. You're absolutely right, Dan. I'll be fair. Uh, Mike had this in fifth. A uh, big fan of the small. <laughs> that it threw me there. And I thought he's <laughs> big, <laughs> big fan of the small black detailing on it. I I read something else there, that, and I shouldn't. I don't even know. Uh, rankers out of here. Let's get into them. Andy, let's kick it off with you on this one. And it was it was seventh on your list, mate. So, what is it? You wasn't really feeling about the Brighton shirt. It's it's just too plain for me. Didn't like it. It's just too plain. There's like they say, it's poles. There's a little bit of a stripe in it, or like zigzag on the arm, but it's too plain and bland. There's like something, uh, like you say, somebody you're wearing a lower league or a conf. That's, it doesn't feel a Premier League kit for me. That and I, and I say the badge is too plain. There's no, there's no like I say, when you get an away kit, you get a bit of a the home feel, don't you? You know, like you still got the you still got the home badge, and they like you say there's it's it's not there's no blue on it whatsoever. There's nothing to link Brighton to that kit. It just says it, and it's it just it's plain black and white badge. I don't like it. I just don't <laughs> like it at all. <laughs> no, you know, it just says Brighton all Albion, but like you say, the, the like say the seagull should be like it's blue in it. The, the home badge, the, the badge is blue in it. There's, there's yeah. no blue in the badge. It's plain. It doesn't feel like a, a, any part of Brighton Football Club for me. Well, that's my opinion, but that's the way it is. I just don't like it. That's what, that's what we asked for, mate. And we're glad you're giving your opinion. That's what we want from you, mate. Uh, no, fair. I mean, if you want a, a normal badge, the, the usual badge, that's, you know, you should tell the world that you want a normal badge on a shirt, Andy. That's fine. No, I uh, did. But... The Man United away kit from the 90s, it was still the same badge with the sharp view cam, the black one. Still the same on <laughs> badge. Oh, no, this is the thing now. The monochrome happen. It's not. It's not really monochrome because they've gone black and white. But you know, you look at the Liverpool badge on the previous one. It was black. I think you know a lot of badges now just just don't they just go with the colour of the kit. It's, it seems like it's a trend. I used to love. I agree with you. Them kits for the nineties and every kit United had would have the proper badge on it. And I, I would love to go back to that. I'm not bothered about it fitting in with yeah, the kit. It changed after two thousand, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. But, no, mate, strong opinions. That's what we like to hear on, on shirts. And if you're not a fan, you're not a fan. Uh, someone who did kind of like it, and he got it spot on this week, uh, was Dom. He had it fourth place, mate. I mean, he's got Shakhtar vibes. I think the badge, the white on the badge just stand out a little bit too too weirdly. I mean, if you put the blue on. But for you, it, it's, it's a good effort from Nike and, and Brian. Oh, it, I look at it and it just reminds me of Brighton. Like, when I look at it, it's the sunshine, <laughs> it's the city. <laughs> I'm joking. Obviously, it looks fuck all to do with Brighton. But I think as a as a change here, I think, I think it's not too bad. There's only certain bits that I would, you know, um, amend to make it a little bit better. The 
graphic going on to that other sleeve it kind of being cut off there is a bit a bit annoying but one thing for me is irrespective of whatever color, color the badge is as long as it's the club's badge if it's not the home shirt obviously then uh, it should still be the most prominent feature and with a simple change they've made it really stand out because ordinarily you'd see this and you would you wouldn't be surprised if it was just black uh, with an orange background but they've not done that and it it does still stand out it's got a sponsor that's you know not too imposing um and it's well laid out and symmetrical so yeah i think um yeah plus points for me and yeah although it doesn't look distinctively brightish um it looks distinctively brightish you um, probably get away it, with it in a world yeah. cup if, yeah. if you're a, you forgot your knowledge shirt, you know, you know what? I'll bring this. No one's gonna fucking know. <laughs> right, they played like prime Holland at times this season, so yeah, I think it's uh, it's definitely worked for them. Whatever they've been doing. Okay. Um, yeah, fourth place for Dom. Then uh, someone who liked it even more than that was Jay in in second in second place for you this week. I mean, the colours, the badge, the sponsor. You just got to give Brighton some credit, I guess. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just don't leave home without Badge. it. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just happy Dom laughed that time, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, no, Jay I, still I, didn't get it. No, I don't it's gone over my head again. American Express credit card, you got to give him credit. Yeah, yeah, you oh, know what I mean? And you yeah. don't leave home without it. You know what I mean? That's yeah. another bad. That's another bad. Oh, it's just tenuous. It's like the, the theme of the show, tenuous. You're a puppy, mate. You're a puppy. Even them two above you got it. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, no, the kit. Let's talk kit, lads. Come on. Um, I think it's really clean, man. I think it's really nice. Uh, you know what? I didn't notice. What Dom just pointed out then about the um, the fact that it doesn't continue to the sleeve, mm. that is a bit of a, a, a changer for me because that would have been so much better. It just has this really nice sort of glow and then it stops. That is a, is a little bit annoying, but I can look past it for now because I really like it. I think the fact that it is um, orange, black, and then the white in the badge really popping out and really, you know, just draws your eyes straight to it. It is really, really cool. And I just yeah, I think it's really clean and nice. It reminds me a little bit of um, Ted Lasso's away shirt this season, Richmond's away <laughs> shirt, um, which also is quite nice. Um, but yeah, I just I thought it was really clean and 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 not offending anyone. And yeah, like you say, Brighton have done amazing this season, despite Chelsea trying to derail it. <laughs> there we go then. Uh, Brighton's away shirt from this season, amazing season for Brighton. You would have thought they get where they are. Um, yeah, looking forward to see what they're like next season, even though they may lose a couple of players, unfortunately. Fourth on our list this week from the Rankers with 31 points overall. Right, we've got two that are joint second now. 43 points. Uh, both um, for these two teams. First one, I could have put them in any order, but obviously I'm going to do it in the order that I prefer. I'm not even going to, you know, I just want it as because I can. Uh, the first one is Manchester City and their away shirt. Uh, 43 points. Champions for the third year running. Uh, potentially on a treble uh, until they meet Manchester United on Saturday and they get beat in the FA Cup final. But yeah, this is their away shirt. And Mike had this. Do you know what? Mike had this first, right? Mike, Mike's a big United fan. Uh, throwback and it looks fresh. Colours make it stand out on the pitch. Gives me nightmares of Haaland. I mean, you've never seen him wear... You never wore it against United. Why are you having nightmares? Psychopath. Uh, and Dan, sure it's a fan, had this in third. Top kit, nailed it. Just the collar. Someone who hates collars. Oh, no, he's very particular about collars, I have to say. Is Jay. And this was your... You got it, pretty much got it nailed on, mate. It was your third place shirt this season, uh, this season, this week. The collar, collar, a bugbear for you on this shirt? Not really, to be honest. It didn't really stand out to me. It's just, it doesn't get in the way of any of the design. It's just a simple V neck. Obviously, V necks aren't my preferred color, but it doesn't make this kit any worse. I thought this kit was really nice. Like yeah. it, like the 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 kind of again the retro link to some of the earlier city kits of. Also being um, black and red, I think you've got the one in 2010, but then you go way back and there's some more back then as well. 
Um, so I think that's nice. They're, they're trying to prove to, to us that they have a little bit of history, of course. Um, uh, they're really trying to prove it, aren't they? But no, I really do like the striped pattern. Uh, it's just simple. And I, again, I like the badge as well. The badge being, I, I disagree with you, lads, what you said about badges so far. I like it when they intertwine them with the kit because for me, sometimes a badge might stand out onto a kit that doesn't look like it belongs there, whereas this fits right in with the theme of the whole kit. So yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Fair enough. Well, I think we're just traditionalists, mate. I think that's more what it is. Uh, obviously, you did a video. Uh, was it on this shirt when it? You changed the colours of it. Um, well, yeah, I made a, I made, I made basically a, a, a kit. You know, they made that hacienda kit, and I basically made it better because the, the hacienda one they did was terrible. And I yeah. kind of used this as an example because this could have been a great hacienda kit if they made it black and yellow. Yeah, like Wiz Khalifa did all them years ago. Uh, that's probably a reference that's going to go over everyone's head as well. I got um, that one. I got did that you? One. Yeah. All right, Captain America. Uh... <laughs> I got that one. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Dom, we'll come to you next on it. Because similar to Jay, you had it in, in third place. I mean, they've had an amazing season. You can't, you can't deny it. I think... Personally, I don't think the home shirt will age well for me. I'm already bored of looking at it. I think that third shirt is disgusting and they've used it far too many times. I don't think they've used this enough, apparently, and some City fans are a bit annoyed by that. But yeah, the, the black and black and red City have had in the past night is, uh, and, and, and to, up to now. It is a good co- colour combination, I'm sure. you will agree, and this is a good, a good use of that, right? Yeah, uh, red and black is a great colour combination. Um, this is more black and red. Um, but yeah, I think um, I think obviously they, they've had this, well, this uh, black and red before, but they've this time just gone, let's get a bit wonky. They've not done a great deal to change it from previous iterations, but it's really striking. So yeah, props to them for that. It'd be, uh, yeah, I think the best of their bunch of three as opposed to the Bumblebee and then the home yeah. shirt, which is just like, it just started to piss everyone off, like you say. But uh, I think, yeah, the tie-in with every other application, like the uh, sleeve detailing, uh, the sponsor and the logo and the badge itself, I think it it sings really harmoniously and it really irritates me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah. I think uh, I think it is a good a good combination for the for the home shirt as well. Uh, there's enough features on there to appease all of them blue noses. Um, so yeah, I'm sure they're more than fucking happy about a lot of things this season. <laughs> least of all this. Yeah, they won't be so happy on on Saturday though, Andy. Will I'm, I'm, hope, I'm hoping that. No, no they're not going to be happy on Saturday. Uh, obviously, you're hiding in the bunker though, aren't you? You've told me already. You, you're not. You gotta hide away. But I mean this shirt this shirt was second on your list. Really, really a big fan of it then. Yeah, I like to say the retro feel, let's say when I was growing up, City City had that these these colours. I remember an umbro one, but it, it was like checkered, red and black with brother on. Uh, in the oh, late eighties yeah. and mid nineties, it was an umbro one as well. Uh but uh, like you say, usually the stripes go down, don't they? But the but easy it's like flash, flash, flash. Flash, blink. There's Ireland. Blink, you miss him. Blink, you miss him. That's that's what it is this season. But um, I mean, City fans complaining that right? it's not been used. I mean, I can understand that. I mean, you want a bit, you want a bit of nostalgia feel, and you, you, you use your, your retro kits, don't you? you? You wear your fur, you wear this kit as an away kit. I mean, I can understand that. Yeah, that's what you got to do. I mean, I watched the playoff finals on Saturday. And um, what you call it? Oh, the, the amount of retro kits for looting, and then um, yeah. Coventry was beautiful to see. Like seventies, like up to the eighties, like Umbro, Adidas. Fucking hell, forgot that Adidas did looting. Bedford, Bedford trucks, Pony, <laughs> Umbro, fucking Puma, fucking hell, everything. And now on the back to Umbro. I mean, it, I loved it. I loved it. I like this kit. I like. I like it. It's just that. They like say it's not that that uh, retro vibe. I love it. Yeah, absolutely. I like how you talk about Man City shit, but spend most of the time talking about anything other than City. Thank you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate it. Uh, but no, there we go. It's City's uh, away shirt from this season. Yeah, champions for the first time. Uh, not going to do a treble though, um, unfortunately for them. So 
Uh, good luck with that. Uh, Joe, second with 43 points. The second team, 43 points. The greatest team in the whole entire world. Uh, you know, the, the greatest football team that's ever existed and also the most uh, loved in, in the world. It's Manchester United. Oh, we don't care about Rodri. It's Manchester United and their away shirt. Okay, it's absolutely stunning. 99 vibes on 97 to 99, was it? Um, it's, it's absolutely stunning and it's beautiful. Uh, let's have a look through the rankers that aren't here. And it's it's funny that we have a United fan and he's ranked, he's not ranked at number one, which is, uh, you know, he's actually put it third. Could have been better without the shield around the badge. I don't agree. I like the shield. I'm not going to have that one. And uh, good old Dan had this one. He had it in second. A great effort. In player spec, top stuff. Yeah, I've got the third in player spec, and it, they are they are a lot better. I have to I have to admit. Uh, going through, let's start with Dom. Dom, let's kick it off with you on this one. Second place for you, mate. So mm-hmm. only one shirt beat out. I mean, it's a be- it is a beautiful shirt. It's got great elements to it. Can all you, the only thing you can see in this is a seven nil though. <laughs> Yeah, that that I've tried to erase from from my mind entirely. But um, taking taking that away, that I'd go as far to say this is um, like one easily one of our best shirts of the last a decade. I think yeah. if the collar wasn't a V-neck, which I'm not uh, partial to, uh, and the sleeve like cuff detailing went around, I understand why it doesn't. Um, especially on um, you know these pro shirts, obviously they could probably do some sweat holes. Um, but yeah, the the uh, the different coloured um, Adidas stripes as well on the shoulder of class, and I think the badge across using that across all three shirts is something more akin to that that we've seen from like the '90s. So I, I've really enjoyed the fact that they've thrown that back. I know a lot of United fans haven't been particularly pleased with that, but I think it works really well. So when you've got um, the synergy across the three three shirts. Uh, I'm I'm definitely down for that. But yeah, it, I think uh, this is class, and it will uh, it will stay class for a long, long time as well. This will age really fucking well. Yeah, absolutely, mate. I'm, I'm in full agreement with you. And it's been a great season for United. Obviously, we speak about it a lot every Sunday, pretty much on over on Saeed, the Unfiltered podcast. And I think we, we've grown fond of this team. And I think these kits, you think of the lap, the three kits last season. Obviously, the worst Premier League Manchester United team, even though they were three beautiful kits, will always be remembered with a pile of shit. But these three now can be remembered for some great times, regardless of a 7 0. You know, it's the shirt we performed amazing in the new camp. And, you know, these players are putting memories into shirts again. So for you, it was, it was in um, number one, obviously, because you're a United fan, I'm guessing. But it's got that retro feel. It's, it looks great. It's just a great shirt, yeah. Yeah, I say it's giving me, like, say, treble vibes of '99 and all that. And I've got that original shirt still. And it, it's I can go back even to the what you call it, the previous season when we won the league at Anfield with Pallister and all that. Two Gary Pallister headers in '97, and yeah. that that sort of kit. Like yeah. I say, the badge was in the middle. It was a shield badge and it was Umbro. Uh, I've still got that kit as well. But yeah, it's late night is like say it's like it's like a combine of them two them two seasons all into one. The ninety seven yeah. kit, the treble kit, and it, it, I like it. I like to say um, I, I like the retro badge. Like, I, I like the shield, but like I say, um, I, I tend to agree. Though I think that I, I think when like I say. Uh, I want the badge sewn in for next season. Sewn in for next season. I'll, that's what I'm, I'm hopeful there when the new kit comes out. I know we've seen leaks of it. I need it to see it up close. I just don't need yeah. these badges sewn in. Oh, sorry. Oh, United badge. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've seen some leaks today. I'm, I'm not too overly keen on, on what I'm seeing from, from United next season. Adidas, I, I want, get me back tonight. Get me back tonight. Somebody wants his team to go back to Adidas. Uh, is Jay? Uh, it's it was fourth on your list uh, this week, mate. Why is it? Why is it kind of fell down then? Uh, having it a little bit higher for you? Um, 
Yeah, I think the things that let it down are the the cuffs, the the fact that they don't go all the way around. And again, I know why, but they should do. They just should. It's annoying that they don't. And the team viewer is is just bad, isn't it? But like, other than that, though, this is a, a really good kit. This is a, a very. I mean, you guys are all United fans. This is a very Manchester United kit, isn't it? Like yeah. that's why you guys love it. It's got a shield that's traditional. It's got that kind of white, you know late 90s look that's traditional united it fit and you know it feels right and that's why you guys love it and that's why it is a good kit i think there's just a few minor details that let it down for me personally also the the crest is a little bit sharp do you know what i mean it's a bit boxy it could have maybe you know the old school ones are actual like shields maybe yeah. something like that um but okay. overall it is actually a top kit and i think all three of United's kits this season have actually been good and stop complaining about Adidas because yeah. my god, I mean, that picture, double A captured that is a great moment in that kit, even though we lost yeah. that yeah. moment with, with Einzer. That is what that's what this season's about. You could I you can see the togetherness. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Matt. Matt. <laughs> Mate, it's the cut yeah, from the yeah. same cloth, them two. That's why I, well, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I love him. Still love him. Badges, man. Still yeah. badges. I don't know where I'm getting his fucking eyes from. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> we, we all, we all look. Last few days, oh. you know, I get it. I get it. He's been amazing yeah. for us this season, Seb of Veron. So, you know, I understand why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jay, they've got, a, they've got a DNA pattern in the shirt as well. Uh, just yeah. again, as you say, to link it to one of those inherent like United kits that a lot of people can relate to, I uh, think uh, up close and personally is class. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, I, I see if you've seen the leaks for the Manchester United shirt, you see TV viewer and uh, to put it on uh, how Chris chat shirt put it, it's on steroids. <laughs> you, oh, you said it's on steroids or whatever. Um, I think they've missed a trick just being just being the 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 wording team viewer. Sharp mm. vibes, do you know what I mean? It would have just worked so much better. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. Even if they, they might not even be the sponsor next season, I know they've had the deal cut short or whatever. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, it's come second on our list this week 43 points, or joint second, uh, with City 43 points overall from our rankers. Right, we've got one shirt, uh, one shirt left. I mean. Two points off a full house. That's how much it's been rated this week. Only one person didn't have it number one on their list. Um, it was Mike. It was Mike. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Oh, no, actually, no. Two people. Two people didn't. Yeah, no, two people didn't. Um, but it was inside the top three for everyone. Mike was one of them people that didn't have it number one. Um, and he said... Uh, he had it second. It is this, by the way. There's Martinez again. Um, it's Arsenal and... Their away shirt for this season. Um, is that a bottle on the badge or is it a cannon? Oh, I don't know. It might be a bottle. It looks like a bottle. <laughs> um, <laughs> he had it second and he said one of their best recently, which, yeah, fair. And Dan had it number one and said, so he said, he sent, he, what he was going to do, it looked like it. He was going to send me back all the pictures with his blurb underneath. And I thought, That's, what are you doing? And then he stopped himself and then put it all in, in one long text. And then, so he put it, he put it, he said, not, not a doubt. I will fight anyone who disagrees. And he's got it number one. Obviously. <laughs> um, so Dan, if you're watching, you've now got a fight with Mike, if you fancy it. And someone who had it in third, I, you oh. no one wants to fight him. Andy Tate. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was your third place shirt this week. I mean, what is it then that kind of made you not want to put it any higher than third? Well, let's see. My name's Arsenal. I'm very sexy. I like to come. I like. I like to start on top, but I always come second. <laughs> That's me. My sexy Arsenal shirt. Always on top, but I come second, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I asked for some clippable moments. I think I've got that. This, 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 this. <laughs> uh, I, I will say this. If you take the, the Arsenal badge off, that's a nice kit. That's a nice kit. But you okay. take the badge what, off, yeah, you know. What badge, what badge would you put on? Otherwise, it's just a shirt of a deal. I'd make a nice Juventus kit or something. Like, if a Juventus yeah. was like that, nice away Juventus kit. 
Yeah, it would. That that that's that's bang on. Yeah, it absolutely would. Uh, the, the remaining rankers both had it in first. Uh, Jay, we'll come to you on it. I mean, yeah. Is there anything that you could improve? I know it's number one out of the ten we've seen, but is there anything you could improve with this shirt? Maybe, maybe the Adidas being gold instead of you know the stripes being gold yeah. instead of grey. Yeah, maybe could have elevated that. I'd like to see how that would look because that would really be like that would emphasize the gold, wouldn't it? The yeah, they've done the it on the own one. kit, the new one, haven't they? Hey, you missed, yeah. the, you missed the picture. They got gold. Why you got gold going down your arms and a gold Adidas? You didn't win fucking anything, did you? <laughs> well, now now they're saying because it's twenty years since the Invincibles, isn't it? So I can't they've, say they've got away with it. it is, they've got away. They've got away with it, haven't they? But we all know yeah. the reason. It would have gone really well reason. with the gold badge that you're the title winner, wouldn't it? It would have gone good <laughs> with that shit, would you? Like you say, you didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? It. Uh, I mean, it's class, isn't it? It's really, yeah. really good. It's it, again, I, it's why it baffles me that you you hate on Adidas so much because, like, it's just so oh, good. Man. Like, I'm, I'm not an Arsenal fan. They love Arsenal. It's no, yeah, United. They do yeah. Rate, it's fair, they do rate Arsenal. I mean, I don't think the new ones are that great, but no, this is just class. The 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 kind of AFC, you know, geometric shapes in the middle as well. Very bit like Umbro, which might have been a bit of a rip off, you know, late late nineties <coughs> Umbro, but. Yeah, I think gold, black and gold is might be getting slightly overused nowadays, but this is class. And, of course, the Canon logo as well, which is pretty sick. Absolutely. Uh, it looks like Manchester United are getting, getting one next season, a simplified badge, uh, Dom, on their third shirt, which we look forward to. You've had it first as well. I mean, black and, like you say, black and gold is a trend that works. And Arsenal and Adidas have, have really smashed this one out of the park. For you, it, it, it just had to be the number one from the 10 we, we saw, yeah? Mate, I'd go as far as to say I think it's the best shirt of this season uh, across mm-hmm. all teams, home, away, third, yeah, fourth, man. special, shove it up your ass, Napoli. Every <laughs> shirt this season. Um it's class. I think I think the like Jay said, the only thing that I would improve, which I did do as soon as I saw it, um, was put some like gold bronze um stripes on the shoulders and yeah. it does it does look class but uh, it doesn't take away and i think it at least does link into the uh, graphic as well because that is like kind of uh, like a gradient across that afc yeah. uh, and it is something that um adidas have just ripped from uh umbro uh, but yeah. they've got uh they, they like the british empire they've got form they we, we've seen that they go to everywhere else and take all of their ideas and their designs and um, but when they do it so well for arsenal it is really hard to to dislike it i think it's absolutely class yeah sure i mean this, they're still running with the lightning bolt from nike they've done it two seasons in a row <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah like, what 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 are you doing like Disgusting, disgusting tackle. Uh, but no, there we go. It's our number one shirt this week from the top 10 Premier League clubs from the 22-23 season and their away shirts. I mean, yeah, it probably had to be number one, didn't it? It's uh, 48 points. Um, it's it's pretty special, to be fair. I don't see 47, actually. I've lied. No, it's 48. No, it's 47. I've lied. It's 47 points, isn't it? I can't count. I, I was the one that was bad at math. I don't know that 10... <laughs> Plus 10 equals 20% off. Uh, 47 points for Arsenal then. Uh, not far off from a full house. I'll do my due diligence. Uh, it's obviously wrong now because I can't count, obviously. Arsenal. <laughs> Bro, last couple of weeks we've had a mare. Paul Fitbishirts didn't know to rank worth the best. And then I, I can't count. But he still would have come top because no shirt was, you know, it's still four points away in it. But anyway, there we go. Um, that's it for this week's show. Uh, one of the rankers, obviously, Mike from Mike's Iconic Kits, is the latest person to do a, a Desert Island kit. So if you've not watched it yet, after this video, go and watch that. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, he speaks on some amazing shirts and really, it really ties in, even though they're not some of the best shirts you're ever going to see, which is, you know, sometimes what you expect from collectors. They get these rare and wonderful shirts and stuff you're never going to see, and they've picked them out. These just mean more to him and, and little things like that, which is really nice to hear so, certain stories behind the shirts that he's picked. But yeah, go and check it out. Uh, there's a big playlist of all the Desert Island Kits uh, episodes there if you've not watched any of them at all. So yeah, make sure you go and check them out. So that is it from us. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for getting involved. It's been a great episode. It's 
been a pleasure to be sitting here with these rankers. Uh, Dom, as always, mate, my right hand man, thank you for being here. It's a pleasure as always. Uh, don't call me a ranker and then you're right hand man, please. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, 1988? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah you, you're left handed, aren't you? I forgot. Anything you'd like to say? Or, or <laughs> no, not, I guess we do, but no, that do. That's not Plead do. the fifth. Plead the fifth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nothing coming up? Nothing you want to plug or anything? No, no, not a great deal, mate. Um, just winding down. But uh, as the Premier League season has ended, there's still a shit ton of football, as our good friend Charlotte Kirby Hazard uh, has kindly put together. Uh, anyone who's losing out on that little fix, if you've got a bit of FOMO, there's still tons of football to be watching as well. So go and give her a follow and have a look where else you can find some as well. Yeah, of course. Hopefully the Women's World Cup as well. We'll be out get to Ooh. watch it. Would be lovely. Come on, lionesses. Sort, his, sort yourselves out, FIFA. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Jay, my brother from another uh, YouTube channel, um, <laughs> Retro Football Kits, obviously, joint top. You know, we've had some shirts that have been joint this week. We're the joint top uh, <laughs> football kit YouTube channels. What's going on over there? What do people need to do to go and get involved in your world, mate? Yeah, man, check us out, Retro Football Kits. We sell beautiful shirts and we make beautiful videos. Um, Retro Football Kits, you type that in, you'll see my face looking shocked and pointing at different kits. And if you click on that, you'll see a decent video. Uh, we, we're doing a City video this week, and so that'll be coming out Friday. Uh, and there's plenty of content planned over the summer. I'm, I'm excited. Football's ending, but we don't stop making content, do we, lads? So, yeah, appreciate Appreciate you having us on again as well. Oh, mate. I say, you're part of the family, innit? So you have to be here when when you're called upon, really. You know, you've got a choice. Contracted. You know what I'm saying? Batman. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And obviously, I mean, mate, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's mad. I was saying this the other day to someone. It's mad how Andy Tate just rings me out of the blue and wants to talk to me. I find it fucking mental. We're in the area. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, hey, I, I, was, I was on a day saver bus pass and I was making the most of it. And I knew you were around there and I thought, you know what? He's picked himself up. Ooh. I want to see this Aladdin's caves. I thought, there's me, Google fucking Max from Asda in the same side. Turn left, turn right, turn left, turn right. And I find out is the place where he is. I did my driving lessons around there back in the day. I, I passed my test. I did three point turns outside the bleeding streets. That night's well, that's, cold. Where, yeah. that's where all the skid marks have come from then. <laughs> <laughs> Same size, <Really>? best. <laughs> you know what I'm Wait, honestly, and uh, it's a dream come true to have you on Talking Kit, mate. So thank you so much uh, for spending a bit of time with us. It's a pleasure. Where, where can people... Again. Do people want to find you? I mean, or, you know, are you happy for people to find you? Or <laughs> like, you well, I say you know. people can find me on the planet. Find them same side. On social, Saeed, our good friend Saeed. But you will not find me this weekend because I ain't going <laughs> off grid. There will be no meltdown. There will be no ecstasy. I am taking it easy and enjoying that game with my family. Good luck, play, mate. Fair play, but yeah, thank you so much, mate. I love I love spending time with you every single time. Thank you for watching as well. Let us know in the comments what you thought of the, the shirts and the rankings. And did we play some wrong? Did we did we do them justice? I don't know. Let us know in the comments. Smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, share it with your kit loving friends. We'll be back for more full kit rankers and also more desert island kits. Whatever you do, just make sure that you keep talking kit, and we'll see you on the next one.